Today I'm going to be showing you the difference between a bridge camera and a DSLR. And the subjects today will be my two dogs and a cat. So let's get right into it. I bet you thought that was a photograph. I'm using the Panasonic Lumix camera video setting. It actually takes very good video. This is my dog Chloe and I'll get her to pose here in a little bit. I'm going to start with the bridge camera. It's called a bridge camera because the zoom lenses are built right in. And it is the Panasonic Lumix. So I got to get the camera set up and I'm going to try and get her to sit between me and that tree over there. And then I just grab a chair, put the camera in front, and we'll see if she'll cooperate today. After she gets done sniffing around over there. I want the widest aperture, which is 3.8 for this right now. Let's see if I can't get her to sit. Chloe, come. Come. Right here. Sit. 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 Turn around. Sit. Stay. No! I didn't say move. Chloe, come. Oops. Chloe, wait. No, look this way. Chloe. Right here. Chloe, <laughs> look this way. I know you can hear me. Quit being so obstinate. Chloe. Good girl. Look this way. You want a treat? <laughs> I knew you did. <laughs> Alright, I am using the slow motion feature on the on this FZ1000 camera. And it actually works really well. Alright, the sun isn't quite all the way up yet, so now I'm going to try my Nikon with my 200 millimeter lens. And having someone help with a treat in their hand makes a big difference. So now let's try and get a photo of the little dog. <laughs> a treat really helps with the cat also. And now I'm going to show you some photos from both cameras, starting with the Panasonic Lumix. It takes good photos. I really like this camera for video and close-ups. It just depends on the light. It does really well in bright lights. But the next photos were taken with the Nikon. I do prefer this camera. It has a lot more range with depth of field. But I have to say the Nikon takes excellent video also. So I use both of them depending on where I'm at. Well, our photo shoot is done for the day. They'll all be taking a nap here pretty soon. I want to thank you for watching and I really want to thank everyone for helping me to get to 500 subscribers. I really appreciate it. 
and I'm, I'm glad you enjoy the videos and I really enjoy watching all of your videos also. I hope you all have a great weekend and we'll see you next time on Adventures Outdoors.